Hey guys, this is Fleep, and um, today I'm bringing you uh, the Mario game I've been talking to you about for a while. Um, basically, I um, I had to take some time off it uh, because I had a lot of college work and stuff to do. Um, so I started, I got back into it like a week and a half ago um, to work a bit more on it, and uh, I think it's pretty much finished now. It's not, it's not finished to the point of um, full completion where everything's done, but everything that makes the game playable is there so everything that allows Mario to complete the game is there um, there, are s there are some bugs, uh, some small bugs from, in my opinion, nothing that interrupts the game um, a few graphic bugs which, which I'll tell you about as we go through them um, but overall I think the game is quite playable and uh, most of you will be able to make a good um, 2D platform out of this so um, what I'm doing here today is I'm showing you how the game looks like and uh, as soon as I've done that I'm gonna uh, tidy all the code I've got because um, this one I had to do in classes so if I go here see these are the classes I've got now this doesn't mean that's the uh, number of classes I'll have for when I give you guys a tutorial um, but it's likely to be about the same and they're about to be similar um, the reason why I'm doing classes for this one is because otherwise it'd be a lot of code um, I find this to be because there's more stuff in it it's more difficult and a little bit more thorough than the um, first person shooter that I did for you guys a while back. Uh, so, if you haven't checked that out, um, I'll put a link up. If if you're interested in making a first-person shooter, feel free to click on it, and make sure you've got annotations on. Um, so, this one's a bit more complex because we're doing pretty much everything, and and instead of doing it in 3D, everything is pretty much 2D. We're dealing with sprites and images and so on. Um, what else? Um, so, pretty much this is it. So, this is the code here. I'll to show you some of it. There is a fair amount of code in it. Um, it's, this isn't the full code yet. I mean, it is, but um, odds are I'm going to make a few changes to it to make sure it's easy for you guys to understand and stuff. But my guess is this is going to be a bit longer than the uh, FPS tutorial that I did for you guys. So if you're really into doing a platformer, um, a 2D one, uh, you're looking at spending about, uh, what, f four or five hours. So I'm going to have to do that whole tutorial. Hopefully it'll be less than that. But I don't think it'll be much less. Um, it will be hard work, but if you if you get it's starting to get into this kind of games, if you're interested in this, um, if you're not too confident about doing this, then um, I'd recommend that you um, listen to that tutorial. Once I do make it, I'll upload it. Uh, once it's done, you'll see um, a link to it from this video, so that should be quite straightforward. So if you can't see it right now, it's because I'm still doing it, and I'll have it up for you in a while. Um, so that this is pretty much it really we're using quite a few new things so if you're new to programming and you haven't done or maybe you've done a few you know small games on dark gdk then this will be difficult but because i'm taking you through all of it it won't be difficult because i'm doing it all with you so you might not understand some things but the advantage of uh, me writing the code and t talking to you about it is that i'll explain everything i've done why i've done it and hopefully you get more of a grasp of why i've done things um, so that should help you out quite a bit if you if you're really good with games and you just want to see the code all you do is jump to the last tutorial and um, I'll have the code there but I wouldn't recommend you to do that because you're not learning anything unless unless you actually know what you're doing already and you just want to see my code um, so if you learn just learning grabbing the whole solution and just running it is a bad idea in my opinion you won't learn much from it anyways so I'm going to run the game now um, and show you what it's all about Okay guys, so here's the game. Uh, basically, I'm going to have to reduce the volume here a tiny bit because, um, you know, I don't want to, like, be really quiet. Basically, here is what you've seen pretty much before. I'll get the mouse out of the way. As you can see, we've got jumping, which is what we had before. Getting some lag for some reason. Um, not lag, sorry, freezing. Um, I'm guessing that's obviously because Fraps is on, but that should be fine. So as you can see... Um, we've got flowers now instead of the uh, hammer we had on the other one. Um, we've got points. We've got. I've added these cool clouds. Uh, I think they're pretty cool, actually. Um, uh, basically, they're just small sprites. And if you're wondering what type of game this is, and you didn't see my other tutorial, this is a tile-based game. And uh, basically, it's it's two for loops drawing the whole map. Um, I found this very difficult, and this isn't my design. The, the 
tile set isn't my design. It's a guy called Pizza Man that did this a while back, and I uh, I took that core bit of code from him, uh, so I'm kind of giving him a bit of credit here. Um, everything else is done by me, of course. Obviously, not the graphics, but um, well, some of them are actually. A few of them are like animation stuff. So as you can see here, you kill a Goomba, you can bump on their head, you kill them. Um, if I walk, see, I just lost um, my fire there. Also, fire isn't working yet. I didn't do that because um, I did write the code out and everything, and I thought oh, I could keep this and it would work. Um, I didn't finish writing the code, obviously. Um, but in my opinion, the code ends up adding a good, I don't know, good amount of lines to this, and I thought because um, I need to implement a new method of um, collision if I do that and it's going to be a lot more hard work for you guys so it'll just complicate things so for those of you that are really good at this I recommend you do that yourself um, so here we go, we'll keep going um, I'll show you a little death as you can see he died there and we started at the beginning so everything from scratch again here we go, we turn to fire um, as you can see there, every time you pick up a coin and so on, it increases and you get more points for it. So I can kill this guy, kill these two bastards here. Obviously, as you would expect, the collision isn't perfect on uh, the whole thing, but I think it's quite good. I mean, considering I would not. Also, something you haven't see. What I wanted to show you there is a little bug I've got. Um, because this was literally this was my code, and sometimes that happens. If you, if a Goomba's walking and you uh, break the block from under him, he will um, spaz, and that's one of the uh, graphical things we've got going. But that should be quite easy to fix. Um, see, you've got a little checkpoint flag. I think I had that on my last one, though. Not the graphics, but the actual flag. Um, almost the whole thing is basically animation, like I some of the stuff I animated myself and I drew it uh, not from scratch but uh, I picked up things and I worked on them um, I haven't done a war pipe yet so you can go into another thing I think that's one of the extra things I'll do later on um, also in case you're wondering you've got um, you should have an executable of this game in your in my description there uh, which you'll be able to obviously um, you know run it yourself and play with it it's only an executable, not the source code yet. I'll I'll have to leave that until I've got the tutorial because it's quite bad at the moment. Now, something I haven't showed you is the uh, plants. Obviously, you just keep wondering if they actually do anything or not. So I'm gonna go. As you can see, I lost it there. Now it's, this is something. Well, I made it work to work just like it works on Mario. So you've got Mario here. I'm gonna just show you this. So he goes here. The plant won't come out because. Uh, Obviously, Mario is too close to it. So if if he's at a certain distance from the plant, uh, the plant will stay in. If it if he's really uh, f well, if he's a bit more uh, further than what he was, then he will um, the plant will come out. <coughs> what else? Let me think. So you've got these dust effects that I added a few um, weeks ago. I don't know if I added them before. I don't think I did. Um, and then finally, you got the flag here. So um, if I go here, you see the collision there isn't perfect, but I've put a little message here so um, so you can just know to close the game. You know. So basically, um, as you can see, the code is here now. The way this was written, um, obviously this isn't perfect for you guys to to have a look at yet and stuff. But as you can see, there's a lot of comments about, and uh, so once the thing is done, once the whole code is done, you'll be able to read through my comments if you like. I I, I usually most of the time write comments on my code. Um, I don't think there's many places that aren't commented on this, but if you look you just see comments all over the place. Now some in some places you see comment from Pizza Man which because I had to um basically change uh, not not translate but I had to change the code from um, dark basic professional to C plus plus on this um which um which i i still kept some of his comments because they're helpful and i'm not going to uh, write over his comments because that'd be stupid um it's it's his code so i'm just using that for the um tile um display of the map so um if i show you just here on the 
if I show you just here on the where is the loader there it is so as you can see here here's the map um, I've got a few ideas later on I want to um, I want to leave that till last though but if you guys enjoy this and so on let me know I'm thinking of maybe making a um, also in Dark GDK a uh, map editor so you see how I did this I did this all manually which is a lot of work basically and the way this map works because it's tile based and if you haven't seen that before it's a bit complex at first but basically you write what you want so for example an A here means an air tile so if there's an A there it will show um, a blue tile on the on the screen so if you got B here B is a brick Q uh, C is a question a uh, coin box actually uh, Q F is a flower um, question box that's what the Q is for Q is for question flower um, and then so if you bumps on it it will do what Q F is supposed to do and here you've got a coin one and P1, these are for the pipes. Um, if you put a G, means it's a Goomba in the map. Now, I haven't put turtles in the game either because I thought that's just basically a Goomba with one or two modifications, which is quite straightforward. So that's just more code for you guys to write. <coughs> so if you guys are interested, let me know. I'll probably do it anyway. Um, I'll make a map editor and stuff. I also had some ideas to make a. Um, I'm just going to close this. Uh, I've got about a billion windows of fraps for some reason. Just gonna close that, maybe because I was testing this, but um I can't find it right now, but I've got a few ideas. Uh I also wanted to make a menu for the game and I can do that quite easily. So um if you're interested in that. Um depends if I get requests for these things, maybe I'll do something before something else. So I'm thinking of doing the main menu first. So once you've done this I'll put an extra tutorial to make the main menu so you make a cool we'll make a cool main menu for the game. Um, and then we can also put a menu inside the game, not only like on the startup menu. We can make one like say exit, uh, return to game, and so on. We could do that. Um, and I was thinking that maybe later on, um, after the map editor, maybe we could put um, a warp pipe. So and and maybe we can add a few features to the game if you're interested in that. I don't know how long I'll do this for because I've ri I've been writing this game for quite a while and it does get fairly boring if, if I don't take breaks every now and then. Obviously, I don't want to leave you guys without tutorials for too long. Also, something I was thinking about releasing to you guys. I don't know if you enjoyed my um, the trainer tutorial I did. Um, I don't know how interested you guys are in hacking. I, I, I'm interested in that quite a bit because every now and then I like to learn some sort of hacking stuff because I think that's fairly cool. Not for bad reasons, but I just enjoy doing that. Um, I was thinking of maybe doing a more... Um, I'm trying to learn a bit more in depth C++ now. Um maybe I'd do like a uh, an aimbot or something like that. Not not for bad reasons, not you know, like just for single player games and stuff. Just for practice and um you know, uh maybe you guys could learn some stuff. I haven't learned that myself, but uh, I'm I'm kind of getting into that. So, um if you're interested in anything hacking related, let me know and maybe I'll post one or two more tutorials on it. Um Obviously, I try to make tutorials as many times as I can, guys, but I do have um, university every now and then, um, so on my time off, I tend to try and make these videos for you guys. Um, so let me know how this goes for you. I'm going to put the tutorial up as soon as I've done it. Uh, let me know if you, once you play the game, let me know if you've got any bugs you want to tell me about. Uh, I probably know most of them anyway, but let me know anyway. I don't mind that. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy this, guys, so I'll release the tutorial as soon as I've I'm finished with it. Obviously, I've got to edit it, which will take me quite a while because it's it's going to be a big ass file, um, and it'll be a long time to upload them all. Probably two days to upload the, every video. Uh, but yeah, let me know how that goes for you, and um, run the game, try it out in the description, and um, yeah, hope you enjoy this, guys. I'll see you later.